Hey guys, French Bear here. So, big video, massive video. So, hey Jacker, I love playing him. His chops are so cool and wonderful. However, he looks like shit. He's like, his outfit looks like shit. And his intro in the game is even worse when you start the game. So please, um, developers, give him some love. Just, just watch this aberration. Anyways, chops are wonderful, however, <coughs> look at it. Uh, he's my main, he's my favorite character just because of that. Uh, the possi possibilities you have with traps in every map are so cool. The learning curve is so high, it's so fun, so challenging. And yeah, uh, overall a super character. So, uh, what I will do in this video is first, classic, uh, the build. So the skill trees, the perks, attribute points, his ability level 1, 2, 3. I will tell you where to go, why, and well with the goal, the goal bank, being a super efficient trapper who highly relies on his traps and and his traps, believe me, survivors will fear you. If they step into one, they will understand that they cannot step into your traps. It's really, really efficient. So, uh, after that, I will go over something more complex, the complex side of Hitchhiker, okay? So, I will talk to you about webbing i will talk to you about your different setups in every map uh, then the six types of traps so objective traps high risk reward traps very rare nobody uses plays like that i think chase traps as, uh, again extremely uncommon deeper objective traps uh, my favorite to 200 ike traps yes i named those uh, because why not? And then unique traps, so unique to a map or a specific objective in a map. Okay. So and after that, just because you know why not? I will have two or three and then maybe four gameplays, I don't know. Super cool gameplays where you will see a very efficient way to play Hitchhiker and especially so fun way to play Hitchhiker. I think that's the right way. Uh, yeah, and everything that I will talk to you about these videos or in-depth tips, details, everything will be shown during this gameplay. You know. Okay, so without further ado, let's go for it. Okay, so let's go. So first, boom, load out. Uh, no grandpa perk, stupid gimmick, right? Uh, ability. So damage, damage, more damage. What they don't say here, it says uh, any victim caught in a trap continues to take damage. The reality is that it takes big damage over a short period of time, okay? Not small damage, this matters. They don't say that, but uh, just so you know. And this does stack, okay? Why do I know that? Because of this. Where are you? Okay, my, my boy Sony. <coughs> Watch the description here. Right by does not stack, it says, okay? That's very clear. So if you have any other character, such as my hitchhiker right there and it's a uh, and uh you know it it doesn't say it does not stack it stacks okay everything here stacks all right so now that uh, now why damage why not what everyone picks which is all family c noise uh well let me show you why all right very good two small gifts guys don't worry i just want you to know why you should big damage over anything else in your abilities uh, tree or whatever it's named so someone got snare yeah. right now someone got snared so i go there boom i chase her i chase her what happens is that you know boom, she goes there i leave her i leave her you know because i know it's a smart thing to do i go replace my trap and boom there we go oh she gets trapped into another trap I do not cancel my animation, okay? I keep doing my job because I know she's within my web and even if I'm a bit late, it's okay. You will see why. So she's on the floor, boom, I go and chase her. I go find her. Oh, okay, she gets up. I hit her once and then watch what happens. She bleeds out. So imagine this scenario, guys. And Anna, the toughest character in the game, steps into one trap. She's fell here. She didn't get hit before that. Then she happens to step into another trap, and within 20 seconds, she got in gap by the traps, and me hitting her once afterwards, I guess. And the oh, and the bleeding, I have a, I have a bleeding perk for like 30 seconds, they bleed out as well. 
And when the bleeding bird finished her off, she got up. And usually when player gets up, I need like three or four hits to kill them. But I just hit her once, and the trap did the rest. The trap finished her off all by itself. So what this does, because is if one player gets hit by one of my traps, since I have like four damage buffs on my traps, they cannot continue the objective. They have to go and heal, and they are busy. Uh, in this game, you know, asymmetrical, 4 versus 3 scenario, this is insane. That means a trap by itself can keep one player busy while you, let's say, are chasing another player. That's really, really big. That's one of the things that actually is super strong in a 4 versus 1 scenario. So now, let's go to another example. <clears throat> so, this one is a classic Leland. Classic Leland, you will see. Super cool. So. Leland, uh, I, am getting this bullet. I think he's about to get trapped or something. Okay. Oh, Leland gets trapped, okay? So 2 minutes 30 seconds. I go there, I start chasing him. Okay, he knows there's a trap. Sure. And then he does a massive mistake, okay? Connie, yeah, does a what bait. he does is that he does what every Leland does. He's level 90, by the way, okay? He's, per he's a very experienced player, he knows what's up, he has his own uh, routines and all, you know, one of those rounds. The mistake he did is to try to continue chasing after getting hit by one of my traps and I think two hits by someone it's else. Right now. Oh, and watch what happens. She didn't get it though, she didn't he get it. He bled out. That's it. Rank 90, lead on, down. Thanks to my traps, you know. Yeah. Okay, so those are the reasons why I pick damage. I think it matters very much. And against any kind of player, it doesn't matter, level 100, whatever, the damage is insane. Okay, so now let's go back to the build. Alright, alright, back to the build. So, one thing I didn't mention, most players like to pick all family C noise. So what happens is this, your family member sees a trap. And why I don't pick that and I pick damage, well, you know why I pick damage, but why not that? That's because this can be replaced by your own communication with your teammates. Uh, normally, when you play with people and you have played with them a few times, they kind of know your play style and they know a little bit where you place your traps. And if you are good at communicating, you will be able to tell them where the caught victim is, okay? Uh, so I don't think this is necessary or irreplaceable. This, however, the extra damage is irreplaceable. You cannot emulate that through any other way. You either have damage, extra damage, or you don't. All right. Uh, so now Venom. That's the bleeding bird that I mentioned during the clip. If you did watch it, that was quite long actually. Uh, victim cuts in jobs take one HP of extra damage per second for 30 seconds. That's just so big. <coughs> okay. Uh, one more thing about the damage. I promise it's the last one. I just want you guys. I want to make sure that you guys really get it as I do. Um, so, uh, a trap by base is not that, that powerful, okay? It's a bit annoying for survivors, but the damage uh, the damage is kind of low, I would say. It's not high, far from it. However, when you add here 13%, it becomes a little bit annoying. When you add the extra 33%, the traps becomes a little bit of a problem, I would say. It's pretty much 35 of yeah, 35% of your HP gets taken out by both of these, okay? Total, 35%. Not so big yet. You had this, which uh, continuously deals high damage over a short period of time, okay? You had this, that's pretty much 50% of a player HP. Even pro I think a little bit more. I think a bit more. It goes over 60% or something like that, okay? Then you add this, Venom, 30% of extra damage. Well, uh, on some characters, they are almost dead at this point, okay? They are like one or two hits from dying. That's how bad it is. Uh, so yeah, that's why. If you do not have Venom, if you do not have this, if you do not have this or this, it's not I, I would say that it's not significant. They still can try to do the objective because they will have, uh, especially this one, they will have more than half of their health and this is bad. So I think the developers did quite a good job by basically uh, making it so I've, it's all or nothing on damage traps, okay? Because don't just put this or this then go somewhere else, alright? Go all in. Rely on the traps. You are a trapper, alright? So there we go, that's why I like damage. So violent, um, to, 
have even more damage. Uh, <coughs> so it says your damage is increased by 20% when carrying a full blood vial. Now I will show you something quite specific. Here, Brute Strength, Grandpa Perk that a lot of you use and probably tried with him. Slightly increases melee damage for Alpha melee members. Okay, melee damage. I don't think this concerns the trap damage. Many people, I believe, do the mistake to use this for traps. This does not work, okay? This is the only perk in the whole skill tree that... Well, this one, melee, it's, it's the same. It's, it's attack damage, yeah? So this is one of the only perks that really, really gives you damage, I believe, for your traps as well. And yeah, all right. And since you do setup, uh, you know, why not getting some blood in between, all right? And yeah, there might be some perks here that are better. It's hard to say. Um, yeah. All right. So there we go. So now scout. Why scout? So the super cool thing about scout. About scout, sorry. Uh, your movement speed is increased by 15%. So this helps you move within your web. I, I will explain to you again later what the web is. Uh, move within your web really, really quickly and get get to your trap quick. You know, do everything quicker. If a prey is uh, cut into a trap, you will get there quicker. Everything you do, it's also good for the game itself. You know, protecting your objective. So being there a few seconds earlier is always good. And this very special thing. Your movement speed is increased by 15%, but melee damage is reduced by 10%. Well, guess what? Traps are not melee damage, because this does not nerf your traps. Scout is made for a checker in some way, okay? So that's why I love Scout with him. Uh, and this... Well, this is good for house. This is not really so good. Uh, so it's a bit sad. I couldn't get better, my bad. Okay. So that's it for the perks and uh, the abilities. <coughs> now, uh, this doesn't matter. So, here, what I want with Honesty was Savagery 42. Why not some endurance? That's because you need damage. It's really, really important because when you get someone into a trap, basically you want to be able to kill them quick. And with this, with this, we need between two and four hits to finish them off, depending on how fast you catch them after they get into a trap and they start bleeding. Uh, the problem with endurance, as I said, you need damage, okay? So endurance will never be enough. Unless you have, uh, let's say, something like this, then it could make a difference. But then you don't have enough damage and you will see this during your game. You will miss some kills. So the problem, so sadly you have to go, I believe, all in in savagery. Just because this will never be enough unless you go up to 40 and then you don't have enough damage. It's, which is a way bigger problem. So, okay, that's why. So, it's something you will have to deal with, but I think it's okay since you are just a trapper. You, you can chase to finish them off. Once they are weakened, weakened by your traps, but most of the time, you know, you, you won't just chase someone. Yeah. Again, you are a trapper. So now let's go over the skill tree. So I went through every possible uh, node here <laughs> a few times. Okay, so I tried right side is interesting. Right side you can have um, this right here, wireframe, but then you don't have the trap damage that I have right here, which is, I will show you, on the left side right here. There we go. That's where Venom is, guys. Okay, super important. Why did I go through the middle at the beginning and not through the left? Well, that's because you have more skill points on the middle. Simple. And here, nothing is really useful. Um, you might think um, Brute Strength is useful, extra damage, but again, it doesn't affect traps. And you have less skill points, so your overall damage is actually reduced. So I went through the middle, uh, I got Scout, which is a random perk, okay, you can get this anywhere on your web, if I'm correct. Um, then, uh, well, as I said, you know, I got here, uh, I got Venom right here, and I believe I got another random perk, Violent, super useful, uh, right here, and yeah, simple, window right there, a lot of skill points, so that's a script. that is uh, the skill tree for you guys. Alright, so that's enough for the build. Now I will explain to you everything about traps on a deeper level, but not but a simple build. So, uh, if you wanna live here, I just go check the gameplays. I have timestamps, don't worry. If you really wanna learn uh, how to be, uh, I would say, 
higher level chopper than just average. That's when the, big, the video becomes interesting to you, I believe. Right, so that's part of uh, the video that only hitchhiker means. Maybe future hitchhiker means. Or people who don't mind listening to me for a long time will check out, but there we go. <laughs> so first, the webbing. What is the webbing? So the webbing, uh, well, that's basically, you know, like a spider that is your web and you're at the center of your web, kind of, or on the side, doesn't matter. And you have to be able to reach your traps. So, okay, watch carefully. So the game starts, you know, maybe what? Okay, 20 seconds later, I, I put my first trap. So it's within the gap. Uh, you will learn by experience where to place your traps, what areas are good. So me, I choose to trap three different gaps that are super important and, and for the survivors. And I trap them early game because they like to go here during the early game. I, I don't know why. So second trap here is fairly close to my first trap, okay? But at a, at a different spot at the same time. The first trap right here, and boom, there we go. And watch this carefully. What I'm going to defend here is the house because of the fuse box that you can see here. That's my area that I defend, you know, as a member of the family, all right? And I'm fairly close to my traps. I'm basically, oh, as you will see here. Oh, someone's here. One, the nice, two, middle, middle. Three, uh, four, five. I'm like six seconds away from my trap, which is good. So very important, your webbing has to be close enough for you to reach it and to get information on what's up. Even if you don't necessarily get hits on the victim, it's okay. You might you, you might want to chase or not your prey, okay? So that's, well, that's what the webbing is. That's basically the distance between your traps and you, and you have to make sure to be around. Just like a spider, that's the idea, okay? Very important, so when you, make, when you set up your traps, make sure that it's within you. Uh, it can be two or three traps. Why two? Because sometimes you have to put a third trap somewhere that is far away from you, just because it's so important, okay? But you have to make sure you at least have two traps within your webbing to use, because that's, those are your tools. They're extremely important. Okay, so that's it for the webbing. Right, so very good. Now I will talk to you about your setups. So you can have different setups. And why do I show you a loading screen here? There is a reason. So your setups can vary depending on many, many factors. Fun factors, serious factors, whatever. It can be, let's say you see a four stack on Family House, then you will pick a certain setup of traps, okay? Setup is basically three, three trap, two or three trap placements that you pick depending on, well, there is a first stack here that can be a reason why you would pick a certain setup and positioning for free traps. Uh, it could be, I don't know, maybe you, you are feeling very aggressive for whatever reason and you just want to kill players, so you will choose a specific setup. Maybe you are feeling chill, so you will choose a more chill setup with a, you know, a, a webbing that is maybe a bit uh, further, you know, to, uh, maybe closer to the objective, so you don't you know, have to run much. Maybe just the way you feel, yeah, the way you feel anything Anything you see can be a reason for a different setup, but just because you want to change from one game to another, you just like to change your setups. Uh, you know. So, <clears throat> very, very important, the moment when you choose your setup is not here, guys, not, no. It's either here, it's between here and here. That's when you decide, oh, that's where I put my free traps, okay? Uh, your setups can change. You can have a setup for the early game and then switch up later once you know your traps work and you just replace them and go for another setup, maybe uh, you know, a late game setup. So um, the setups, uh, well, I guess I will show you this one. But first, okay, so the way you learn setups basically is, well, they have to be within your webbing, you know, as I mentioned previously, that's very important too. But um, the way you learn is by playing games, by experience. Um, you go in the map and you just try some areas. You try to defend the generator, then you try to defend the slaughterhouse, then you try to be good. Well, let's say it's um, you know slaughterhouse map. So in slaughterhouse, there is a bomb, there is generator, there is car battery. Uh, basement is different, okay? Basement doesn't really count, I would say. Um, there is a fuse box, so you try to be good everywhere. You try to learn some a few setups for every area in every map. Okay, so I will show you one setup right now. So, there we go. First drop, liver face layer staircase, okay? Okay, there we go. 
now my second trap oops i think i skipped it okay so i press it here then i go up the stairs to the right side there we go i go to the it's still fairly close i picked uh, i picked this uh, as we see there's another stairs and yeah wait okay there That's we weird. go Why the and then the last one is right here what I there we go so that's one of my setups and as you can see it's fairly close and it's kind of i'm basically protecting the stairs that's a super early and super aggressive setup on family house take note um okay i will stop the video here but if you want to see the whole match i will have it posted to, you know after it's one of the gameplays and i think that i catch seven or eight players and you saw the levels those guys are no joke so yeah check out the gameplay later there will be a timestamp and, and it will be named something like six seven or eight players got in trap high level team whatever yeah uh, so that was everything for the setup all right guys so now the six different types of traps so uh, 90 percent of the hitchhiker players will only use one type of one type of trap which is the objective trap and they will completely not think about the other type of traps they could play they will just limit themselves and you know play in a very very boring way however i like to think there are six types of traps i completely made that up but i think it makes it makes sense so i think it's okay so <clears throat> the first one the one that most of the hitchhiker players use uh, i will show it to you very simple very easy any new player will just probably do that at first so you place a trap right in front of an objective so here you have the fuse box um the positive with this trap is that it's always going to be slightly useful never very useful because it probably won't get a hit since if you place a trap in front of let's say a generator door uh, a door that is important players will expect it good players will expect it disarm it and yeah that trap uh, purples will basically serve as a delay for the survivors and that's it and if they're really good they will eventually you know go through that trap and still do your objective eventually so yeah that's a problem with those traps but as i said they serve a small purpose and if you don't know the game well i would suggest you to you use those first <clears throat> now let's go to something more interesting the so high risk high reward traps those are the traps i use the most um i find that make the most interesting they somehow serve as objective traps except that they they are more complex a bit and players will most likely not expect them unless they are looking down and carefully which is quite rare so far so let me explain to you why so those traps will be placed instead of in front of the objective which is obvious for both sides they will be placed in a path that could lead to an objective okay such as this it's family house right so you know there's grandpa there's the stairs and then there's this area here with a gap on my left and not just a gap but it's also you know there, there's a long corridor that goes <clears throat> it's a little bit dark so that's why i place it this trap will defend you know the house and yeah the thing about um those high risk carry road traps how i like to call them is when you have one of them there is there is i would say a decent a decent chance that you catch one player with it but when you use your free traps like this so you have free traps placed near you or in your web you have you have a high really high chance of at least having one trap catching one player so despite them being by themselves a kind of high risk carry rod i like to think that if you're free of them like this you will most likely catch at least one player and well most likely get a kill from it which is really really big and the objective traps will not do that most of the time so yeah just think of the paths survivors take to reach the objective such as stairs um you know stairs anything that survivors like to, to go through uh anything basically just use your imagination and just try experiment during your game and if a trap works once it's going to work maybe a hundred more times if you try a trap and it doesn't work during let's say two or three games it's probably never going to work so i suggest you try another spot okay very good so that's it for the high risk high reward drops 
<clears throat> so next we have oh, okay so this is a uh, deeper objective drops so those are objective drops except that the survivors victims were able to pass let's say the generator um, main door then what happens is that if you can choose to defend you know the over the next door so let's say they passed this door okay do you see it's open so what happens then is that i decide to place traps on the path to the next doors that's something hitchhikers do not do they will most likely replace the trap they put before you know like uh, we put it so there we go you see me placing one trap on a gap that is very commonly used right here then here it depends if you can you know you can choose a path if they, if they did open the left door you can place it right before the right in front of the left door otherwise just do that place one trap right between the two doors you know because why not and that's it you define your objective those traps are well obviously they are not used in the early game they are like a second setup like a late setup but you know you, you can take off your traps for wherever wherever they were and place them here in the state so that's an example of a late setup uh there is another one a little bit more interesting <coughs> i think the valve is obviously an objective that is um it's it's a late game objective right it's not right away you don't have to defend it right away but anyways watch this well you can see on my screen uh, a victim got stared into one of my traps i think it's uh, a gap but anyways I'm placing this trap here for the valve because the valve already got activated. So I know that they might try to come back for it. So there we go. I'm placing my trap. And well, watch what happens next. I also placed the second trap. You no, know, I checked uh, right here on the gap. So, oop, okay, wait. <coughs> so, okay. There we go. That's a little bit later. One minute later in the game. And what happens is, wait, sorry. Okay, I open the door here because I think someone might be down and poof, someone just gets into my trap. There we go. And this trap worked. Perfect. You know, let's go. And boom, I get three hits and I just get to kill just like that. Thanks to, you know, this late objective trap. Okay. <coughs> so next, the most funny one. The, <coughs> the most funny one and I like to think the most interesting trap. The 200 IQ trap, which, yeah, it's the most simple trap in the world, but it works so well and you always feel so great because you just outplay the survival. <coughs> so this trap is not used to defend an objective. This trap is used to defend <coughs> a spot or something that the survival, that one victim really wants. So in this case, you have the poor grandpa right here who oh, I was expecting, uh, I think there was a Leland, I, I was really, really expecting the Leland to come and try to bully Grandpa. It could be different, it could be a, a specific loop or a specific spot that the survivor went to like one or two times, so you could just place a trap there and then lead him there and get him into the trap. But as you will see here, I trap Grandpa, all good, then I go around, you know. Oh, well, oh yeah, there we go. So there is me with the Leland, okay, I'm just, I'm just chasing him. Just casually chasing. I, I have a plan, you know. There we go. Leland going there. Leland climbing up, as expected, you know. According to plan, Leland getting into the trap. Leland dead, game over. And me debugging him a little bit. Not intentionally, I was trying to reset my trap. So, there we go. That's a 200 IQ trap for you. So, okay, yeah. The last one. Almost the last one. <coughs> now, um, unique traps. Unique traps are, well, as you will see, that, you know, like the valve in, um, well, that's uh, no, a trap for the valve again. The valve in Slaughterhouse is super unique. You can actually trap it this way. So watch carefully. You put the trap on this side. You no, know, I mean the valve exit, by the way, not the valve that is uh, in the basement. So, yeah. Another unit objective would be the window in family house. I mean, one of the windows. So you could put a trap right in front of the window. That would be another unique uh, trap. And well, what I'd like to do here is I also put a trap here. That's the, 
So survival is hard to go either through here or through the other way unless there is a crawling space that did not get destroyed, but that's another story. And there we go, that's how you secure the valve. Uh, one thing, one mistake. Well, one mistake every hitchhiker I've seen so far does is they will place a trap <coughs> in front of the valve exit. The thing is, uh, let me see, okay, you can see it. In front of the valve exit that you can see here above me. The problem is that my trap has some bleeding damage. So the earlier they get caught, the more damage they receive at the end. So I would suggest trying to be a few steps ahead and not going the easy way by putting the trap right in front of the exit, but putting the trap, you know, earlier like this, to trap like this. It's smarter and it will work much better. Okay. And it will, you know, if you have a bone scrap, basically they can just press X, you know. <coughs> so, last one. Last one, I don't really need an, exa an example for it. Basically, a chase trap. A chase trap. So you can very you can very well choose to set up two traps uh, in, on your web and keep a third one. So that third trap that you will have in, in your inventory will be a chase trap, meaning that you will keep it until you find a survivor who wants to loop you, or you find a survivor who is stuck on some spot, and you could just set up a trap and make him leave and make him leave the loop, or just you know kind of. Make sure that the area is safe at some very specific moment in time. So that's one thing you can do. Just keep a trap in your inventory. Most of the time, I will set up my traps. You know, like uh, I like to set them up. But sometimes, if I'm not sure or if there is a trap that didn't work well, I will just carry it and just do that. All right. So those were the six different types of traps. Hopefully, you you learn something from it. That's um, that's the end of my tips right there, and uh, now you can just see the gameplay with, which I like to think <coughs> the gameplay that we see. I think there is three or four. There is a 4K. There is, you know, classic 4K game because I had to put one like this. But there is a game where I think I catch seven or eight people in my traps. Uh, games against 30. Map. I try, I think, to vary and to put different maps so you can see some setups in different maps. Everything that I mentioned in the video will be showed, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, what do you think? I don't know. What do you think of this, this kind of gameplay? You think it's great, but whatever. G give me a thought. It's always uh, interesting, and that's how I learn. Oh, yeah. Again, hopefully, you enjoyed, you enjoyed you know, this long video and you will enjoy the gameplay that comes next. And, uh, See you, oops, see you next one. And yeah, uh, I enjoy playing each other. It is so fun. <clears throat> it, the battery is going to be on automatically anyway. Yeah. 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 I, I never do it anyways. I, you know the last game, I didn't do the battery. And CC, I don't know if she did. It's the same. It doesn't change really. Oh, ok, ok. Je vais rouiller les trois portes, hein, comme d'habitude. Ouais, fais ton truc. Moi, je mets mes pièges dans des endroits un peu différents. J'ai bien changé. Je vais faire des box maintenant. Ah, toi aussi. Vas-y, tu peux mettre ton sein à deux là. On va le mettre à fond. Allez, allez, allez. Même ton niveau 2. Moi j'ai 86. J'ai 40 là. Ouais, ouais. Bah il est où le petit vieux là Ah bah il est là-bas. Euh, bah, j'ai placé mes pièges. What a big head on Anna. <coughs> Another 3 hits on Anna. Not... Oh, ok. Non, non, il est Il euh, y a une porte derrière laquelle je mets un piège, tu vas voir qu'elle est refermée, Ghost. Donc fais, laisse la fermer. Another hit on Ok. C'est pas exprès. Pas qu'il voit le piège. Uh, Lilith, open the door. Outside Non, non, attends. Yeah, ah, she... yeah. One is up. And Julie yeah. is, uh, Connie as well. Another phase is still locked, so probably the rear exit. 
Yeah. Oh wait, you mean she opened the back door? Oh wait, she, yeah, she's here. They're both here. Lila and I got stunned. They're going back down. We good. They're going back down. Ils redescendent. On est bon. J'aurais fait peur si on descendu les deux couvertes porte. So you can just stay down, I guess, unless they open another. I'm just trying to bubble box upstairs. I'm going to place a trap above, above that door. Actually. I don't need to chase them. J'enterre en bas. C'est ouvert là? Oh, oh il est open tout doux. Connie, I think Connie is destroying sound makers. Yeah. Twenty-five. I will trap both um I think if you didn't open another door. Mm. It Let might me... be downstairs though, I don't know. I just know he opened the gate. Uh I'll just faire le fusible. Oh no, just faire le fusible. Oh, it's beautiful. Come on, beautiful. Yeah, Anna, Connie's right here. Anna. Connie on me, Connie on me, Connie on me. Ah, oh, she thinks I'm to that side, I think. I guess. It's going down the road. No? Oh, someone into my trap. It's, um, Where? Anna. But she's, uh, she's going back down. She's trying to heal right now. You can't fucking heal on me, a bitch. Oh, pfft. Uh, she's near Grandpa. I uh, know. Ah, in the big uh, living room. Il lui manque un coup de. Ah, elle va bouffer mon piège, non Ah non Putain, elle... Ah non, il a été cassé. Ah oh, putain. Dommage. Je devrais la laisser hein, avec euh, Cook. Non. Ouais. On sait bien, elle, est... elle a pris cher. Tony admonte par la même porte. Bah, bon, nickel, elle a bouffé le piège. Elle a bouffé le piège. Oh putain. Frère, vas-y, t'inquiète. Vas-y, vas-y. On peut gérer à deux. Fuse box is open, guys. Yeah, I'm not checking the fuse box. Well, doing my job. <clears throat> oh, Sony trying to open the door here. He's just running around. You run into my trap again. Damn, five hits. I trapped four people, that's crazy this game actually. Lilian not me, Lilian push me. Lilian is going into the room to the staircase, grandpa room. Okay. Alright, you got it on my trap. I can't tell him, he's right here. Yeah, it's he went through okay. the gap. Yeah, I'm on him. Oh, well, okay, I won't. I'm opening the door. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, you got into my trap, I can quit on. See Anna. Anna's on me. Okay. Basement. Mm. I need to replace all of her traps. I got a head on her, though. Got a big head on her. Yeah, she will not survive very long. I will replace my traps and feed the armor. Oh, no. I'm now on basement. Okay, I'm going back up, fuck it. Too much shit downstairs. Just check for Connie, guys, because she's been free the entire time. And she got a lot of points. Okay. Let's check fuse. I go back. I'm on the fuse. I'm on the fuse. Oh, okay. Check the doors. Uh, there's a padlock gone on the left uh, main door. <coughs> oh yeah, it's a Sony, but he died, right? Yeah. Just so. Okay, all of my traps are replaced. Should I help a lot? 
Est-ce qu'ils ont fait la porte euh, J'ai l'impression qu'ils ont fait ma porte de gauche là. Un, un lock, oui, c'est tout juste un lock. Je vais mettre un piège. Ouais, ils ont fait mon cadenas à gauche. Ouais, ouais, il a dit. Ouais, ouais. Je suis d'accord, ça mettre... reste. Oh, un army Big hit Small hit Big hit She's going into a trap, maybe. Nope. Maybe not. She's bl- What? Uh, Where'd she go? I was biting her. Oh, oh fine. What, she- She won after five hits? Window. Window on the back. She, she went into my trap. Window on the on the main hall, main uh, main door. Oh, so the front, okay. I'm going yes, to the front. Yes. Then. Front. Oh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be delayed now. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know where she is now. Just stay outside. She's going on car battery. Car battery. Okay. Let's go. I think Grandpa is. She's here somewhere. Oh putain. Qu'est-ce que tu fous, Rose Allez. Reste tranquille un peu. <coughs> Where are you, French I'm coming. I was just feeding Vampire and all because she got... Oh well. There we go. She's going out of the whale. I'll give my 50 blood to Grampy, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we can get him to five. I have 80. One. Upstairs. Hmm. Oh, she's doing fuse then. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see her. Oh. Wow. If she's in cap, let me drag her. Yeah, I feel fast enough. Holy shit. Yeah, she's in guard, we could try. Oh, oh. my god! Millimeter too late! I could, I, the button was there! Oh, that's so sad. Hey, my 4K, let's go. Yeah, I'll kill steals. <coughs> yeah, I mean, I just got 7 people or 8 people into traps, I think 8. That's probably my record. They all of just nice. run into them. Very nice. Perfect match. Yep. That's good team play. Mm. Oh, wow. Je crois que ça tournait à 60 quoi, bah il y avait un petit niveau, il y avait un 20 mais. Uh, quel ghost que je fais ma sur ce main, même si je connais bien, je reste 30 secondes en bas puis je monte dès que je peux. Mm -hmm. Vraiment à chier, il monte trop vite, c'est n'importe quoi. Ouais ouais mais je le dis depuis un moment ça. Ouais. Mais il va pas travailler en activité apparemment, donc euh, on va voir. Ah, cette masse c'est dommage. Il est presque bien en bas. Le haut il est bien mais le bas il est chaud. Je pense que je vais faire... Il va bien faire le plus... Que la valve est derrière la maison. Ah bah ben, parfait je peux faire ça. Ah, pour... ah non ok non le fusil, ok. Je vais essayer de faire... La valve est derrière la maison, le fusil... Oh il y a une connue devant moi, what the fuck elle passe au milieu, elle passe au ah, milieu. Ah, le fusible a le mauvais spot. Le fusible est dans la pièce là où il y a ouais, la porte suis, que bon. La cognée est là, elle, elle vient à peine de passer au milieu. Moi, je garde côté gêné et valve. Je sais pas où elle est passée la cognée par contre. Il a pas de sang. Camille. Les landes chez moi, les landes, cabane du milieu. Bon, bah la cognée est là. Putain, j'ai même pas eu le temps de passer un piège, mais sérieusement. N'oublie pas de me faire les obstacles aussi quand t'as le temps, on a les mêmes deux que tout à l'heure. Ouais, ouais. La Connie elle a pris trois coups. Là, ici, Connie coups. chez moi. Bah, c'est elle, ouais. Bah, elle un coup, elle est morte, je pense. Bah, je enfin, je mets mes là. pièges, je mets mes pièges, elle, elle redescend. Ouais, elle redescend. Putain, je mets pas quand même des pièges. Ici, par contre, ça, là, il devrait régler ça, ça fait chier que le générateur il inter. Il. Il, euh... il sert à rien. Non, c'est pas ça. Là, pour l'écoute du coup, en fait, euh, comment ah, dire, ouais, ouais. l'interfère dans mon ah, écoute, oui, en fait, ouais. le générateur. L'interférence du générateur. Ouais, dommage, j'ai pas pu mettre mes pieds, je vais passer là où il y aurait eu mes pieds. Ouais. 
Il y a tellement un rocher quoi. Faut que tu casses la porte devant le physique. Ok, cave, j'en ai un cave. Il monte, euh, il va monter la porte euh, là. Porte maison, euh, la porte là, l'escalier de la maison. Euh, euh, ok, j'ai ah. les landes chez moi. Quelqu'un a pris mon piège. C'est les landes, c'est les landes. Il y a un autre piège là. Ah bah voilà. Ah bah voilà, deux pièges, ça c'est fait. Il <coughs> y avait quelqu'un dans la maison de je crois. Tu l'avais vu, ouais. Je vais okay, mes Ça va monter à l'échelle là-bas où Tu sais, l'échelle dans les dans les fourrés là-bas, Romain. Bon, ouais, ouais. Je replace mes pièges, moi. Je, je mets le vieux niveau 1. Et je vais quitter un moment le générateur, ramasser un peu de sang. T'as fait mes obstacles, Romain, ouais, les deux J'en ai fait deux, ouais. Après, oublie pas, ouais. Quand t'auras le temps, on pense devant le fil, quoi. La plus importante. Je vais mettre mon troisième piège bientôt. Je sais pas où me mettre après. Voilà. Ok, je n'ai cabane centrale là, là où il y a le vieux d'habitude. Vous le voyez, Maison. un petit ouais. Sony. Petit Sony, c'est toujours. Oh, je le vois. Bah, tu peux pas l'avoir. Hein. Il va dans les interstices. Passe dehors, dehors, dehors. Ouais, je suis là, je suis sur lui. Il prend le puits. Okay. Putain, j'en vois aucun, ça me saoule quoi. Ah, après, ils ont peur de toi. Ah, on voit les on voit euh, les. Ça monte ici, là, la cabane au fond, cabane générateur, là, là où il y a la valve des fois. Ici là, il est en bas de l'escalier. Oh, il y a la connie qui a fait mon piège. Elle vient à peine de sortir de la petite cabane. Saloperie. Je la poursuis. Je vais la faire aller sur mon autre piège si je peux. Dire. Ah non, elle est... Elle va pas descendre au pied. Hein. Elle est vers le grand-père. Ok. Je suis à l'arrière de la maison comme tout à l'heure. Je arrivé à la rabattre là. J'ai essayé. Écoutez. Ok, ouais. Ouais, connu dans la maison. C'est sûr, elle a joie. Mais elle a évité. Je sais pas où elle est passée. Elle vient sur moi, elle vient sur moi, là, à l'arrière de la maison, comme le Sony tout à l'heure. Elle va prendre le puits. Elle vient un petit coup de incapacité. Ouais, c'est fait. Elle a pris le puits. Même pourquoi elle a désarmé mon piège. Qui qui est moi Ah, c'est toi, ok. Je vais changer mon piège d'endroit, qu'à part mal le connaît maintenant. Oh, c'est le bout celui-ci. Je vais laisser un moment la valve en main, parce que je vais retourner côté gêné, récolter les trois euh, sauts de sang. Alors, ok, okay. c'est quoi Ok. J'en ai pour euh, une minute là. Je récolte les trois sauts, je reviens. Il y a quelqu'un en bas. Faut qu'on monte le vieux. Quelqu'un en bas qui fait du bruit, qui court de partout. C'est bizarre. Tu peux abruti celui-là Alors si la cognée elle bouffe mon piège, c'est les malines ou pas C'est bon Romain, je reprends mon poste. Mmh. Ah, ça a ouvert, regarde, ça a ouvert côté batterie. Côté batterie, porte droite. Ah, j'ai ouais, ouais, personne ouais. en batterie. Ah, je vois ce que tu veux dire, ouais, j'ai vu. Bah, il est là. J'ai là tout, là, avec le coup le... que quand ils ouvrent une, euh, une porte. Ouais, euh, je l'ai tué, c'est bon. Il est tout santé. J'ai vu, ouais. Je pourrais te dire une technique après avec cette paire qui est pas mal. C'est le seul de bien que j'ai dans... pour le coup, là. Ouais, Après la game, rappelle-moi, je te dirai un truc avec ça. Ok. Ah. Je pense que je vais donner du sang. Enfin, non, je vais garder mon méga. Il y en a encore deux. Il y a un qui a fait des bon, points. Je vais chercher sur la batterie. 
Ah oui, c'est l'envers batterie, ouais. ouais. Et en plus de nuit, c'est impossible. Ouais, ah si. Oh, quelqu'un a bougé. Un mec descendu au puits. Ah bah tu l'as trouvé non Celle qui a bouclé mon piège. C'était en bas là. Ici là où je suis. Ah bah, ben. ah ben, elle est par terre. Uh -huh. C'est la cognée. Ok, il en reste plus qu'un, je redonne du son au vieux. Ah je l'ai tué, ça c'est fait. Alors cognée, hein. bah, elle était pas maligne, hein. j'ai changé mon piège de place pour essayer de la voir, elle est rentrée en pleine dedans. Quoi. Elle a pas vu. Dommage la cognée. Ah c'est fini Surtout ouais. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a eu Attends, il y a un. Chicker, 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 c'est quoi ce truc Ah, elle a abandonné la dernière. Elle a abandonné. Ah, dommage. Hein. Oh, nice. Let me actually play Booba. Off yeah. the um, window to lure someone of us out with. Nah, no, we, we have a strat from it too. I open the door, you, you go, and then I close the door behind you, and that's it. Then we, we back to normal. No big deal. Uh, well, okay, I'm fused, Bob, so just put my pads and then uh, French has to just run the doors at a pet log. I will uh, try a different drop set this time. I will try the stairs one. Uh, Connie is low. Nice. Uh, you will come fuse, Xavier. Yeah? yeah, I'm gonna go to fuse you. Nice. Oh wow, I thought the gap was already weak. Otherwise, mm, would have called it for you. That's slow. I don't know, that's cool, that's weird. Why the, didn't you tell me that you're going to feed Grandpa? That, oh that's, literally, that's, that's literally what I just said. Oh, I didn't hear it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to camp fuse box. They about the door. Here on my Where? side, if you see me, hello. The first door, first door, basically. Oh, she might go for my trap. Okay, she closed it. Nice. Yeah, no, that's it. Uh, go to my trap. I, yeah. I cannot go to Fuse Box because of. Uh... I'm not scared, Anna, but she's a fucking out. She's like one shot. Unless. I uh, Leland is not in the basement. Get Leland, I guess. I will. Mean, right. Hey, I, 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 I just got someone with a trap. Another trap. It's uh, inside the stairs. Leave her face, there's the stairs. Good even face, yeah, I have to replace my traps. I'm at the fuse, so I'm gonna start marking for you guys. Yeah, we have to check every door and the fuse. This guy got dropped, but I'm not sure where yet. Oh, it's here, okay. Nice. Yep, I reset it. I will just take it, fuck it. Okay, he went back down, like, sorry, he didn't go up because of the drop. He just gave up. Wait, who's yeah, doing is in the basement. <coughs> <coughs> I can do the back uh, door. Anna basement. Okay, hey, There's Ado, two basement. Can, Ado, can you do both front doors? I do the back door. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that should be good. I will try trap here. More of you guys. Many in health. Two of them. Three of them, actually. Two of them went into my traps. Oh, there's a lead on here. Lead on. Okay, I hit him once, I made him go back up. Where Which are you? I blocked him for you. He cut my trap. I was, uh, we are staircase. Staircase. I, I'm not chasing him, I just reset my trap. Ah, uh, front doors are okay, Aro. Let's see what they do next. He's leaving the basement probably, and then... After we play we this trap, they know where it is. They know where my trap is now. Um, Maybe if I put it here, they won't expect it. To... I don't know. I... Shit, man. My bad uh, so I would have got jo uh, Leland. I fucked up. One of them is upstairs with me. It's uh, it's uh, it's fine though. If she tries to come in, I'm get I'll get her. She's upstairs, okay. Yeah, oh, Vicky's right there. Jolly I dead. Nice. Leland, two hits. I, I hit Leland three times. 
But someone got snared in, into a stair, some stairs, I don't know which one. Yeah. Yeah. I will check and I will know. Oh, yeah, I think it's Liver Face, yeah, it's Liver Face Lair. Liver Face Lair, that's where that person tried. Oh, Leon here. Leon is almost dead. I can't finish him off, I think. I got to try to barge the door. On me upstairs. Okay, I need to check the back door really quick. I didn't for a bit. Yes, yeah, so the one is upstairs. Uh, Connie is getting fuse. Where did she go? Oh, she's in front of me. I killed her. Killed her. Nice. Good job. Very good. So I did so cool. much damage to her. I did so much fucking damage. Yeah, to her. she got into my trap as well earlier. We have no heal for sure. There is nothing left in the basement. Uh, can you feed Grandpa, please? We need the uh, window perk. Uh, okay, you check my the back a bit then. I can watch both doors. I mean, if someone else watches Fuse see. for a bit, I can feed Grandpa to three right away, probably. Uh, if I loot the buckets. Yeah, I'm going. Wait, wait, wait. I can go. Wait a bit first. I, f I feed. They're being quiet right now, no sound. Someone is moving, I'm gonna mark him. Okay, I'm going back to the back. I wait a bit to grind. Okay, you can make the yeah, switch yeah. whenever you do want. I still have one shot I need to place again. Nice. That was annoying. You getting blood right now? Oh, there's someone on me. The Leland. I'm chasing him. Hi, oh, stun me. I hear someone upstairs. I someone got snared. Someone got snared again. Ah, yeah, nice. I changed my trap placement. That's okay. So Leon yeah, is... I know of yours. Okay. I can't leave anymore. I okay. cannot leave anymore. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm coming that? because Leon is down anyways. I'll just place a trap for him. She's in the bedroom. She's in the bedroom. Okay, wait a bit. Wait a bit. I have to place a trap here. Arrow keeps trying to come from the stairs while I'm. This guy, if you see where I am. Okay, I'm coming. So she's uh, close. Oh, we are here. Bedroom. I'm not sure exactly where it is. After. I hear it behind me on the. Uh, okay. We're usually the few spawns. Okay, give me a bit. Okay, I see you. You mean she's uh, in front of you? On your right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she's. Yeah, she's right in front of me, bedroom again. I marked her. Oh, nice. Okay, I can chase her now. Be careful for Lila and Alo. You might try the doors. I found her. Three hits. You see her? I'm marking her. You guys can follow. Yeah, okay. Uh, she's going down. down. Yeah. That's good. She wants a window. She will go into one of my traps, I think, eventually. This is very quiet. Ah, uh, yeah, she will go into one of my traps, I think. No? Okay. I don't see anything. Okay, I'm she's back here. Right now. She's dead, she's dead. You found nice. Lidl? No, no. Okay, Lidl? This is fully quiet. Yeah, just. Uh, yeah. uh, Lidl is a grandpa, yeah, you guys can see it. I guess you gave up. Marking. Nice. Yep. You can carry him now. Carry him now? I can't. I couldn't. I wouldn't work. <coughs> I told you, are you are easy day. I think they stepped into seven drops. That was funny. Bro, I don't know how, but I think Julie didn't know that I was behind her. <laughs> she was just chilling there in the corner. I would have got Connie like first shot, but 